Hello everyone, this is Chad Ward, the UFC commentator for TVN Sports in Korea. We are now joined by the UFC featherweight fighter, Kyle Nelson. Hello sir, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Now I actually wanted to ask you this question straight off the bat. That, um, it is my understanding that you go back and forth between lightweight and featherweight. And for yep. this fight, you're fighting obviously in the featherweight division. What was the reason behind this decision? Uh, this is just, you know, the UFC offered me the fight at 145. You know, they said, you know, do you want to fight uh, Superboy? I'm like, absolutely. Who, you know, that's going to be an awesome fight. And then they said it's at 145. So I said, well, you know, maybe we do it at 55. And the UFC said, no. So we're doing it at 45. And how are you feeling as a featherweight right now? Uh, I feel amazing. This has uh, definitely been the best weight cut down to 145 I've done yet. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, so we'll be looking forward to seeing the best version of you this weekend. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this, I mean, this weight cut, we've had a lot of time. Uh, you know, my fiance has been in my corner the whole way, helped me with nutrition and everything. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been night and day difference between this training camp and my other training camps at 145. Oh, that's good to hear. Now, uh, this is Duho Choi's first fight in three and a half years almost. How do you expect him to fight? Do you expect him to change, uh, have made drastic changes over the years? Uh, no, I'm expecting, you know, the best of, of Superboy. I think, I mean, he's had three years off. I don't think he was sitting on the couch, you know. Mm -hmm. I think he was out improving himself, working on skills. So I'm thinking, I'm expecting the best we've seen of him and then some. I'm, you know, I'm expecting him to even have proved in some areas and, and to be sharper and better than he was, you know, when we last saw him. Right. Now, many fans around the world are really excited about this fight because they think that there will be fireworks. It almost seems like the stylistically, two of you, when you get in the off again, uh, we'll see some exciting uh, slugfest, if you will. But let's hear it from you. How do you think that the fight will go down? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, we're going to meet in the center of that octagon. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Doho loves to, to box. I mean, he's got some kickboxing, but he's definitely more of a boxer. And, yeah, I mean, I love to stand in there. You know, I got some power. I think I, think I got a little more power on him. So <laughs> we're going to meet in the middle and find out. Uh, super excited about this match. Now, finally, anything you would like to say to the Korean viewers? Uh, yeah, I mean, just thanks a lot. It's It's been very cool interacting with uh you know different uh korean outlets and and interviewers and stuff like that i've, I've received a lot of support from uh, korea and i mean i it sucks i don't get to come and visit you guys but hopefully you know one day in the future i'll be able to make it over we'll look forward to seeing you in korea sooner or later yeah thank you go cool. kyle nelson ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time sir yes thanks a lot go cool.